What's up guys, it's Rocky here. Welcome to World of Horror, where we play all of the horror games on this channel. But, today we have Dark Days specifically. I've been enjoying this game, it actually made me hop back into my Days of Survival game. Where, I don't know where my other phone is. Actually, it's on the charger. But it brought me back to that one and realized how much di more difficult that one is. And they have also had a bunch of updates on that one that we'll get into on this channel. But, I'm going to show you guys what you need to focus on. We're already at the location that I want to kind of show you where you're going to be at for most of the part of the game. Uh, for now. Reason being is because, like, gas pump and all that stuff. Those are extremely difficult if you do not have the right equipment. And, uh, we'll get into that in a separate video. But today, we're going to show you a play-by-play, -play, uh, playthrough of this. If you're something curious to try out and what you should do, what gears you should have on with you and um, all that good fun stuff. So right now, as you guys can see, I only have a Glock and a little knife here. We're gonna take a look at the backpack space we have here. We're actually going to move this over to my side pocket right there. Uh, we need the most amount of space to have that stuff. Of course, the bigger backpack you have, if you guys want to purchase it, you can, but it's extremely expensive. Extremely expensive, like really. As you guys can see, 45 bucks for an army backpack which will, you will get to the point of being able to create in the game, but you need to take your time and play the game. Trust me, it's a lot worth, a lot more worth it. But the number one resource you're gonna wanna do is literally get all your trees, and I'm gonna show you my base camp too right after this. But you, the, the way you're gonna wanna do it is go to these zombies here. Best way to do it is try to, try to get those headshots. It'll get them knocked out a lot quicker to where you're not taking as much damage. And literally go through the whole map and do that because you're going to have to come up with the decision to do uh, certain things because you will not have enough space for everything. Plus, as you guys can see, I've got a headshot there. But there's a good amount of zombies on each map, which is really, really cool that they're giving you the variety of how much zombies are on the map. And uh, these you should be able to get through with no problem, put it that way. And then also make sure the number one thing you do, if you see gold opportunity pop up like that, do not miss it. You need to take it because gold is very important. And uh, we'll break down what it is uh, on that as well. But this gives you the option to choose what you want to bring back to camp. But gold is, is, is not optional. You have to grab your gold. You have to grab it. Everything else is optional. And be a watch out for the lurkers because they can do some damage as well from a distance. So we're going to go ahead and take the berries to use. Take that and go in. So we still have a little less than half. Sweet. We're getting some damage done, boys. But if you guys have played the other game that's just like this, it's, it's definitely exactly the same. Only thing that I like more about this one is the art style. The art style is literally more my tempo. I like being able to look from behind like this third person and being able to have that comic -y look to it really makes it appealing for me that I enjoy. I'm not saying that I don't like playing the other one, it's just I definitely like that this way a lot more. The other one reminds me more of RuneScape style. get the gold got two more over here oh we're getting down the nitty-gritty of the end of my health there all right so we have this stuff never number one tip I can give you guys right now never use your crowbar for damaging you're going to need to focus your crowbar on being able to strip parts off motorcycles and your mecha suits here on the ground because there is this this is trash this is uh i don't get this very often but i'm gonna go through the trash in fact i'm gonna use that right now i was hungry and i needed help but you're going to want to use your crowbars for breaking down equipment here to take back to base camp to increase your level of what you got going on back at, at camp as you guys can see but number one resource is wood 
Wood, 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 wood. Always grab as much wood as you possibly can. You're going to need to focus on wood as your number one priority source. And when I show you back at base camp, you'll see exactly why and what I'm talking about and how it's super important. As long as you don't build up four walls, you shouldn't have any problem. My axe broke. Okay, so I'm done with the wood now. But that's the number one thing you're going to do. And this is where it comes in handy where you get to pick and choose. Uh, I want to take all that. I'm going to put all that there on what you want. Since I have the crowbar, we're going to go ahead and use this time to break down these uh, leftover equipment to take back to base camp. As I definitely needed that. Go ahead and take that as well anyways. Grab as much wood and stone as possible. Take as much as we possibly can of mechanical things. That's hilarious. Okay. There will also be two chests available. Matter of fact, I need blueberries. So I can eat that. So it looks like I'm pretty much out of space. I'm going to go ahead and open this, see what we can take, what we can choose. There's some goodies in here or some stuff to leave behind. Matter of fact, there are some goodies. We're going to eat this, eat this, eat this. Take that zip gun, don't use that, and uh, save it up for a specific reason that we'll talk about later. Go ahead and uh, attach that. Cool. We do not have a spot for nails. Okay, we'll leave that for later. Go ahead and do this one. Oh, my crowbar's out. Never mind. I'm going to open this chest and then we're going to head back to base camp and I'm going to show you around uh, what I'm doing, why I have so much what I have. Holy majolies. Okay. Use that. That replenishes your um, stamina, which is going to be very useful when you want to play the game a lot. So don't use it like what I just did, but I wanted to show you what activates it, that chocolate bar there. But you're going to want to use it specifically when you're running very low on stamina and you want to be able to play the game a little bit longer. So, we have that. And we also have another hat. We're going to have to, you know what? Stone, we're moving the stone over and then taking that steel plate with me because the steel plate is much more of a necessity that I need right now. Okay. We're going to go ahead and take off, go back to base camp so I can show you around. Do that later. Run. Co collect my rewards here, claim rewards, and we have another energy one. Plus five things of gas and 50 things. If you guys are wanting to know if this thing is worth it, I left a video on the channel which you guys can check out, or you guys can check out the playlist here of my dark days where I literally go into guides and tips and uh, gameplay of this game. But this is currently what I'm searching for for my bike, and then I'll be able to take the bike out. And I'm almost at level 41, maxed out here. Just got a couple more things to grind out. I also got that pack too. 52 gold and the rest is going to stay there. So currently right now I am building walls at my base. Um, but this is what my base looks like. I have all my building gear that needs hard ground and this is where it will all be all the way straight across. Now if I end up needing more space, I'm going to take down some of these panels. I may take out this whole row, which you guys can see on the screen right now, but this whole row may come out and then I may put another section here where I can build and do stuff like that. But the coolest thing is, is I can go into one and then continue to go into the rest. Like I don't have to go to every single one individually and do that. And then I can plant my seeds, uh, do my saw stuff there, build more ignots, iron, and uh, definitely going to do that because I need more. And uh, pretty cool there. But I have everything placed out the way I want it right now. I'm going to build more chests. But I've currently been upgrading each chest. Because each time you get a certain amount of stuff. You can upgrade your chest size. And uh, we're going to do that slowly but surely. Um, to bring it up to that. The rest of these are going to also be increased. But I will get to the point to where each container is going to have the proper 
wording to what's in them. Like one's gonna be weapons, one's gonna be like gear, one's gonna be wood, which is right here, one's gonna be stone. But right now, uh, with how much I'm trying to play the game and trying to get things going like that, is that's it is what it is. And I have to increase the um, the the level of the floor. I need more nails, but I need to upgrade all the floorboards. But that's the number one thing I'm doing is increasing the floorboards. And you're going to want to try to get the whole base area, as you guys can see, uh, wooded up. Like I said, I may have to change this depending on how much I have and want to do with that. But I'm getting the whole baseboard set up and the walls all the way across here at least. Which reminds me, let's go do that right now. Let's finish up this wall. Huh? And yeah, so we'll leave it there. But for now, this is what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna build this up. Once I'm, I know I can build up this whole thing. We'll have one entrance to get on inside this whole area and be able to upgrade every single thing that I currently need. But floorboard is your number one biggest thing to do. So get a bunch of wood, and get that ready to go, and uh, that way you can place down all your stuff right away without having to worry about it. Meaning the little storage boxes you guys can see over here place up to 20 on the whole map here so really good bases that's what i recommend as a new player to dark days i got this caught on me but other than that if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel we're gonna play it by ear and see how this channel grows hopefully we can get to wherever you get to pretty quickly but you'll see some consistent content on here at least once a week and uh if you guys enjoy this type of content zombie games uh horror games, any stuff like that, we'll be getting into it here. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite, share with a friend or two or three, and join me on my next gameplay with World of Horror. Bye, guys. For more daily content, subscribe here. If you want to see more of my daily life and behind-the-scenes stuff, subscribe here. If you want to see some other games I play, click here. Also, if you want to check out my main channel for dance videos, topics, and solo adventures, click here. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload new content on all my channels. Bye, guys.